Hey everybody, welcome back to Hollow Point Defense. Let's talk about school zones real quick. Everybody thinks you need a permit to travel through a school zone. That's a thousand foot from school property. You know a school counts everything from elementary school to secondary school, which is high school, and religious schools and private schools. Any building or grounds that they're using, that would count. When I say grounds, I want to be clear on that one. If you have a strip mall, because out here in Buckeye, there are some schools within a strip mall. It's their section. It's not the whole place. It's their little building, because they don't control the parking lot that the public has access to it with the other businesses. But school grounds, their parking, where they own the property or lease the property, that's a little different story. But when you're talking about the Gun Free Safety Zone Act, you can travel public right-of-ways, your roads, Thomas Road, McDowell, I-10, uh, Rosier Road, Watson Road, Miller, you get the idea there, your neighborhoods. You can traverse those with your guns on you or in your vehicle, and you're not violating the 1,000-foot Gun Free Safety Zone Act. That's more built for people that target those areas for issues, child molesters, gangsters, drug dealers, you get the picture there. But the Gun Free Safety Zone Act doesn't really say in there you can't drive through a public thoroughfare within that thousand foot. It does state in there, and I have the paper somewhere, it does state in there per se, if you knowingly or intentionally disregard the safety of others, they're gonna hammer you with that. Probably not in a state, federal, State charges will actually come before those. But if it's a big school shooting, that's a whole different story. You get the picture there. So when you're going through these gun-free safety zones, don't worry about it. If you want to get a permit for that to traverse through there, by all means, please do. But don't listen to these places out there right now that are trying to sell you a seat by using that. I think it's bullshit that they're taking this and saying you have to have a permit to go through that school zone. No, you don't. Even on DPS's uh, website, it states no public, the public thoroughfares or right-of-ways, you can go through there. Not on their school grounds, but the streets that go beside it or within that thousand foot, you are fine. So please, please do a little due diligence and look it up. If these places are quoting you, you have to have a permit, do yourself one huge favor. Ask them the titles. They should be telling you it's U.S. Code Title 18, 922, and 921. 921 is the definitions. They should be telling you something like that and quoting it word for word. Um, I just threw mine away. But you can email me. I'll send you those words for word. So don't listen to these guys that are trying to sell you a seat. Do a little due, due diligence. You'll save yourself a headache. You don't need a permit just for that. Because if you read the state law, they say main public thoroughfares don't count. And if you go to DPS's website, you can look on there about that because the school grounds cannot enact something that governs that. I know this may sound a little confusing. I've got two videos I'm doing on this. One's a little more harsh and a little more detailed, but this one's just more simple. If you have any questions regarding school grounds, let me know. Look forward to seeing you in class. Take care. Be safe.